Oh, that was pretty awful, guys. So, we can still prove our authority. And that was a... Prince in the dust, visual calculus. That's by the body. Does it also show you... Titus Hardy, there we go. Authority. Oh, these are the highlighted ones, right? Wait, hold on. These are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Oh, okay. I didn't actually read that stuff. So the white ones I could try again. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <sighs> I think we got to start early. Oops. Uh, why can't I use the drink, the, the, the booze? There we go. <sighs> that was, uh, that was rough. You know what? But I think before we see the body, we got to do something a little more pleasant. Let's go get our dice. Although it just occurred to me that uh, we're going to go get <laughs> cursed dice. I'm not sure if that's more pleasant. Spooky. Wait, can I not walk around if it's too dark? Looks like I can't. Oh. oh where are the clothes it used to display? Oh, the mannequin? I didn't turn in my bottles, did I? Oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? Oh, the music's so nice here, and her her voice is so calming. I needed this after that, uh, let's call it the incident. I came back to pick up my dice, or my die. Very good. That will be seven real for one custom die. Here you go. Here's the cursed die you ordered. I think I'm in love with the novelty dice maker, guys. Dice maker opens her desk drawer and hands you a tiny black sphere with six phrases written on it. Let's read the phrases. The phrases read, God is indifferent. Take all. Lose all. 50-50. Nothing happens. And pal. What is this? It's a die. Try rolling it. Confirms the dice maker with a subtle smile on her face. Cast the cursed die. You throw the ball on the floor, and it ends with one of the phrases facing upwards. God is indifferent. Good. Now roll again, detective. Roll the die again. It lands on exactly the same result. God is indifferent. It declares again. It's a sphere pretending to be a six-sided die. Each row will end with one of the phrases facing up. The die originates in Ilmara, where it was used for clerumancy. Except I've weighted the die. When you try rolling it, you realize that each time it gets you exactly the same result. God is indifferent. This is our curse. Okay. It's even worse than she says. God is dead. We live in a forsaken age. You're saying that the end result doesn't matter. In the face of death? No, not really. What a relief. It is, isn't it? There's something liberating about knowing it's just we humans. No all-powerful forces guiding us, watching us, 
judging us. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the die. Good luck, officer. Oh, oh I could do the shivers check again. Why hasn't her business failed? Plus two, cast the cursed. Ah, uh, Lamar and die. A gust of oh! air sweeps through the chimney. Her luck has changed. The stones and minerals on the shelves rattle as though agitated. For a moment, it almost feels as though you're outside the building, exposed to the atmosphere. Okay, so we've got Hey Na Nea. The curse is real, and I figured out why it has spared you. This is still just a theory, but hear me out. I think I know why your business hasn't failed. I think we're going to go with the curse is real. Didn't we already talk about this? She asks as the wind continues to sweep, uh, seep in through the cracks in the old chimney. It's because you're not in the same building as the others. This isn't technically the doomed commercial area. What are you talking about? My address is exactly the same. Rue de Sanguelan 10. No, the old coal plant that used to be here was subsumed into the new venture. Uh, its ruins swallowed up, yet it has a different address in the heart of the city. No, this used to be a coal plant. Touch the safety curtains. You're in a chimney of another building. This doesn't make any sense. She looks around the makeshift nest. This is our uh, idea of flirting, by the way. She looks around the makeshift nest that she has carved out for herself, bewildered. Are you saying my business was spared because of a technicality? Where is this coming from? Um. So we got, let's say I have my own methods, unusual methods. Eh. It has a different address in the heart of the city. I'm just using logic. Logic, it's windy in here. You probably haven't properly sealed the chimney crown. I'm gonna go with it. That's a different address in the heart of the city. And what? Does it mean that I'm safe from failure? Don't let her become complacent. She still needs to ward her soul against the evil forces. Actually, it's only your workshop that's protected. You should still do something to defend your person. <laughs> she starts laughing, her fingers trying to rub away the exhaustion from her face. What? Do you know what this is? She raises her hand to reveal a piece of metal shining on her index finger. Uh, A lucky charm? A Semenes ward? It's a morning ring. I made this when my first company failed. Aha! It was a small jewelry shop right here in the east of the commerce center, built with the little I inherited from my parents. I drove it into the ground within a year. I didn't have what you would call a viable business plan. See? The curse is real. I bet you didn't run this little jewelry shop from the protective depths of the chimney. No, you're right. I didn't. <laughs> she laughs again, but it sounds rather small and sad. Oh. It wasn't just the jewelry shop either. I always thought that it was just the world that you were supposed to try again and again until you finally succeed. Another fucking spider! God, ah, jumped on my head! Another spider just came down right in front of my face! What is going on? This fucking recording studio is cursed. Where'd it go? Okay. Calm down, Michaelis. Well, it's just a jewelry shop either. I always... The fucking... The spider came down right, like... Almost on my mic. Right in front of my face. Okay. Um, I always thought that it was just the world. That you were supposed to try and... Again and again until you finally succeed. And now you're telling me what? That it was all because I didn't run my little shops and ventures from a dump inside an abandoned chimney? Don't call it a dump, you've made it- There it is! I got you. Sorry, I gotta- I, there's too many fucking spiders. <laughs> Don't call it a dump, you've made it, uh, you made it nice and cozy here. Yeah. Just or maybe it's the entire world that's cursed. It's such a precarious place. Nothing ever works out the way you want it. Well, she made she made like a, a really like lovely space here to, to block the curse out. That's why people like role playing games. You can be whoever you want to be. You can try again. Still, there is something inherently violent even about dice rolls. 
It's like every time you cast a die, something disappears. Some alternative ending or an entirely different world. That's one way to look at it. Or you could think of like every time you cast a die, you create all the other worlds, right? Isn't that like one of the the possible uh, possible uh, ex outcomes or like side effects that people accept of, of quantum mechanics that this like this other worlds like every time you make a decision or every time something occurs every single possibility a new world is created with every single possibility something along those lines she picks up a pair of dice from the table and examines them under the light but anyway thanks for sharing your theories officer the precarious world okay See, that was really nice. We got the die. Cursed Ilmarin die. The spherical die with an octahedral cavity and a small internal weight will settle with one of the six phrases facing up. God is indifferent, take all, lose all, 50 50, nothing happens, and pale. It's made of bog oak burl, coloring it malevolent black. Note. Look at the map tab in the journal to see which white checks have opened. What? Did that just open up a bunch of checks? Backyard wall. Oh, this is opened up to you, the punch clock payphone. Tommy, Rene. Cargo container door. The dock worker, a policeman cloak. We already got that. The man from Helmdale. H Helmdal. Map wall, warp door. Or warded door, sorry. Barbell. And measure head, which we've already done. Okay. And then we have this new thought, the precarious world. Seems like the point of this game is victory. The absence of defeat on all fronts. Victory in business ventures and creative undertakings. Victory in love and over other people. Political victory. Ideological victory. Hell, even sexual victory. Uh, definitely a lot of object-based victories too. Having things and not losing them. One problem though. Not a lot of victors in sight. Everyone's mostly losing. Why is that and how do you not lose? All red checks fail. Huh? It says temporary research bonus, all red checks fail. So while we're, while we're researching this, if we do a red check, they automatically fail? Jesus, okay. We're at 53% of the cold uh, Mamadakwa. Oh shit, I need two uh two spit two spots now. Okay, so our next two levels are gonna go into uh thought cabinet spots. The warded door. What was Is there a check in here? The barbell waits patiently on the floor, like a dog for its master. I think I can put on equipment to make this easier. Do we have any minus plus one physical instrument? Maybe we should try this. The barbell waits patiently on the floor like a dog for its master. God, I'm going to take damage here, aren't I? Oh!
You manage to hoist it off the ground, but the barbell feels wobbly and dangerous. Your hands slick with sweat. Turns out you're no beast, just an old man with bad form. <laughs> see? See? This place is cursed. Uh. Fuck you, you stupid barbell! Weightlifting was never my favorite either. Lieutenant is obviously handling you. At the station gym, I mean. I prefer running. It clears your head. Thanks, Kim. We always were a better runner anyways. Okay, where was the... Um, the warded door? Did we already go through the door? Really looking at that unmanly haircut threatens your masculinity. I thought this was the warded door. Maybe there was another check that we bypassed. Now that I'm here though, I do want to buy that book. This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Medicinal purposes of the pale. Indeed. Something about that book does seem to have spoken to you. Indeed. Well, I hope it contains what you're looking for. Let's check it out. A small green book giving off a peculiar foreboding impression. Although it's hard to figure out why, it describes the various ways of healing, debilitating ailments through the use of pale. Some of which sounds implausible at best. So I know that this is a way that we can pass time, right? Medicinal purposes of the pale. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pale. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. What's a pharmacopoeia? You come across the following explanation. While modern pharmacopoeia are continually updated by so-called experts based on the results of clinical trials, readers will find assembled here the timeless wisdom relied upon by generations of traditional Seolite medicine practitioners, Mesk mystics, and Ilmaran folk doctors. Ilmaran. It's all quackery, in other words. Oh, okay. Finally, something to calm the angry spirits that have been plaguing you. Yeah! It seems to contain descriptions of the medicinal properties of various ingredients that may be gathered from the pale, as well as instructions for producing a variety of herbal remedies. Oh, is there anything in there about restoring lost memories? There are a number of Seolite tonics that promise to improve your short-term memory, but nothing Fuck. that speaks to your condition. I just want something that will soothe the relentless torment of my existence. What you're describing is booze. Okay. You don't need any for that. <laughs> That's a good point. Anything about curing an apocalyptic hangover? There's nothing in here that speaks to hangovers directly. However, while browsing through the various descriptions, you become convinced that you could assemble something from the ingredients listed here. Want to give it a shot? Rub your hands together. All right, book, let's see what you got. First, you need to choose a base ingredient. Oh, um, I, I like ginger root. Next, you need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Dram of whiskey, boil it with a tea made from birch bark. Dram of whiskey. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Pomegranate seeds, spoonful of sugar. Um, we already have a root, so let's go with this pomegranate seeds. The tincture you've invented sounds intriguing, but its medicinal value is suspect to say the least. Safe to say it won't cure your hangover. We got experience though. Whoever wrote this never heard of the hair of the dog. Fuck this book. See if there's a bar open that'll still serve you. Would you like to try again? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Very well. First, choose a base ingredient. Meadow rue. Next, 
you'll need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Pace with some aloe vera extract. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Ginseng root. The tincture you've invented sounds intriguing. Whoever wrote this never heard of the hair of the dog. Would you okay. like to try again? Yeah. Very well. First, mixed. You need to combine. First, first. Lastly, sugar. Is there anything else? You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. According to the pharmacopoeia, it should increase your energy and focus, though in your experience, it's only done the opposite. Uh. If only you could find one of these right now and drink the shit out of it. The book said it's good for you, so it would be okay. Wait, but I picked mint tea, birch bark tea and sugar. Why is it saying delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger? <laughs> Would you like to try again? I uh, close, close the book and find yourself staring at the familiar cover once more. Okay, I'll put it away for now. That was kind of... Uh, that, that book didn't impress me that much. But now that we've distracted ourselves from the incident, I think it's time to... Go check the body out. Wait. Who's that? Oh, there's someone on the roof. Huh. Oh, Kuno. What happened, buddy? You missed a good show before. A kid came by and completely fucked the tree to pieces. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. Okay. Uh, this is also superficial, kids. The race mystery runs deeper than you could ever understand. Uh, okay. Yeah, stop using the K word. It belongs in the past. Can't tell Kuno what words to use. Fucking kit. He imbues the last syllable with a special kind of joy. What is this? A word museum? You want to belong to a museum, Kuno, with the old people? Fuck you. Kuno says kipped if he wants to. Kuno's dad says kipped all the time. Kipped a cool word. Kipped, kipped, kippity, kipty, kipped. Kippity, kipped, kip, kip, kipped. It's like a little engine has come alive on the other side of the fence. An engine that only says kipped. Kip, kip, kipped. <laughs> All right, shut it down, see. The con has business to do. Speaking of business, uh, Kuno, do you have any speed? Fucking right, pig. Kuno's filling bathtubs with that shit. Kuno's a kingpin. Can I have some? Just a little? Fuck no, pig. Kuno ain't dealing to the popo. Not doing the pork pen for your sad speed habit. You don't know, Kuno. He's got to at least know a source. Look at him. You need to figure this out somehow. I'll do my best, electrochemistry. You need to befriend him first. Shit. Empathy. I thought this was unlocked. Kuno doesn't fuck. Wait, did I get something else? I don't think so. Okay, let's check out the body. Wait, 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 wait. We got to get ourselves correct here. All professional. Okay. Let's check out. <laughs> Just so I don't die. I know I can heal myself if I'm down to zero, but, you know, I'm slow. Let's check out the body. The corpse lies on the ground among the remains of an absolutely demolished 
pine wood branch. It's gently laid on one side. Okay. Well, it's down. Mr. Measurehead has done a good job. Nothing is too broken or compromised. The victim is ready for a field autopsy. Okay. A field autopsy? Yes. One, investigation of the scene. Two, initial examination of the victim. Three, field autopsy. Four, transportation of the body to the morgue. We are on number three. Whoa, 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 slow down there. The RCM's four-phase murder scene processing manual. The fuck are they on about? I'm so close to just like grabbing Kim's gun and just taking those two out. I'm not gonna lie. Cop's gonna cut his shit up. Uh, don't we have someone else for this? A doctor? Don't we have someone else to cut his shit open? It's not about cutting. And no, you and I are detectives. The honorary rank of detective signifies our ability to handle the entire incident chain, from autopsy to cleanup to social work. Fuck, we're talking like Kuno now, aren't we? Yes, I feel like a detective. You are. Your station would not have assigned you on this case if you weren't. Now... Yeah, but now I feel like one. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Um... Try to remove the dead man's boots. I thought we decided to leave it to processing. Let's not turn this into some kind of circus. Try to remove the dead man's boots again. I thought we decided to leave it to processing. Let's not turn this into some kind of circus. Fuck! How am I going to get all this armor if I can't even try anymore? Okay, first exactly what is a field autopsy? Come on, officer. You know what a field autopsy is. You've done a hundred of them. He pulls on a pair of latex gloves. What you do know is, at 18.9 kilometers, the dormant shield volcano, Corpus Mwindi, is the world's highest summit. And the failure of the 38th single, Epui de Saint, to crack the top 20 was the death knell of disco. Oh, but shit. what a field autopsy is, you have no idea. Why don't you know? What use are you? Actually, it appears I have forgotten what a field autopsy is. Do you have another pair of gloves? Unfortunately, no. I have gardening gloves. Maybe they're enough? They are better than nothing. Tell you what, I perform the anatomical side of things while you will take notes. Okay, where should I take these notes? In your paperwork, officer. Just fill out the field autopsy form. He <sighs> <laughs> sighs, I already expected the answer. Say nothing, just start. You've lost your paperwork, haven't you? Keep nodding. Fucking room cut it. <laughs> He's afraid to say it. Man of pig, you're embarrassing, Kuno. I'm sure it's somewhere. Somewhere else? Maybe? Now they only have one paperwork, too. <laughs> Officer, what haven't you lost? I haven't lost the satin shirt. My shoes, I have both of them. I found the other one, too. Good. Otherwise, you would only have one shoe now. He looks at his notebook, which is possible. I can give you my paperwork. There's an autopsy form there. Several, actually. But only if it helps move things along. Um, let's work off yours for now. Right. The autopsy form is near the end. He hands you his notebook and his pen. Hmm. Oh, do we want to betray Kim and take a look at his notes? Uh, we can't do that to Kim. That's not cool. I like, I, I like and respect Kim too much. Let's open the notebook at the field autopsy form. The dead man stares in silence. As you crack open the ledger, the bright red paper is covered in boxes and lists describing the condition of his skin and organs in three parts. Above those, an 11-field info form needs filling out first. It begins with 